Hi everyone, the Joyful Yogini here. I thought I would share with you my Sunday self-care routine. That's what I was gonna do. But I have to tell you, I am wearing a bra that uh, one of my daughters, my teenage daughters ordered, and it came like so thick and like spongy, <laughs> like, um, like, fake you know what I mean like it makes your boobs look like freaking big that she's like that's not what I what I ordered and uh so anyway she didn't realize she was gonna get something like um so fake looking <laughs> so she's like mom you can have it I'm like I've never had a bra that amplifies things so much like I I look like I'm a D <laughs> and anyways my boobs have gotten smaller so it's actually a little bit of a treat being like freaking D's right now. I used to be a C, but never like a full C, you know, it was more like an three quarters of the way full C. <laughs> and then with exercise, I got down to a B or at least a very full B. So I like when I can get some cleavage, but you know what? I have a pet peeve before I get into my self care routine. I have a bit of a pet peeve. So like when you're measure yourself around here, I am, I'm 35. And they don't have bras that are 35. It's 34 or 36. So I'm either going to get it so tight that it's squishing whatever I got here, like, like just dig it in, or it's like freaking loose. So why do they not make 35s? And also with my son's clothes, you know, it goes from a size 12 to a size 16. And what about being in between? <laughs> so anyways, I've been, I've been having issues and trying to find my son's um, size of pants. So anyways, that's all there is to it. What I'm starting with today is coconut oil. I just get this from, from Costco. And um, anyways, I'm gonna put this in my hair. So I do my Sunday hair treatments. Uh, because I bleach my hair, right? I'll go to the hairdressers. They bleach it, color it, and uh, it can dry it out, right? It really sucks out the moisture. And I love using my curling wand. I use that twice a week, sometimes three times, but usually at least twice a week because I love using that. And uh, yeah, so I got to give my hair some love. And so every Sunday I put in this coconut oil and I usually sleep in it all night. And, uh, and then in the morning, wash it out now to get it out. It's a bugger to get out. So I usually do my blue or purple shampoo first because I like to do that once a week. So keep my color looking nice. And then I do a regular shampoo two more times and then I condition it. And then by then, hopefully, all the coconut oil has gotten out. I try not to put it right at my roots because it's hard to get the grease out from the roots. And usually your roots don't need it because you, know, you got some nice new hair coming in, right? So yeah, this is the first part to my routine. And then I am going to, what I've been using is Garnier Skin Active. Uh, the water-based makeup remover. So I'm gonna get whatever makeup I have on and wash my face. By the way, I don't have any sponsors or anything, so I'm just showing you the stuff that I use, um, just in case you're interested. All right, I'm gonna find something to put my hair up with, just because I don't want to get the grease on my shirt, right? So, just gonna wind this puppy up put it in a little bun and then I'm gonna do my face all right so I'm using my makeup remover and I just have my little pads in this <laughs> whether you're interested or not there's actually a couple nail polishes in there so if my girls are if we're gonna do our nails then we have our little kit to bring downstairs you know what, I haven't done my nails with the with my girls in a long time. And then uh, just a couple weeks ago, I did it with one of my daughters. I'm like, this is so nice. 
So now I, I got fake eyelashes. I freaking love them. This was my second time in getting them done. I found this girl in Oshawa that is, she's not crazy expensive like most of the places are and she's super nice and she talks the whole time and she has funky music going on in the background she has this great salon that she created in her basement with her sister and she's awesome i love her and it feels good to be able to support her while having lashes i can wake up in the morning and go Frick, you look great! <laughs> Just because of the lashes. Seriously, I didn't realize what a big difference it would make. So I, I wake up and I feel good about myself when I look in the mirror. So that's nice. I think we do need to feel good about ourselves, right? Of course we need to feel good about ourselves. And how we feel good, good about ourselves is so individualized, right? So for me, the lashes, they just help. For someone else, it might be their nails, you know, feeling beautiful in their nails, or having the, the wax for your beard, you know, the beard conditioner stuff. I shouldn't just assume it's uh, uh, females, because, you know, non-binary, males, whatever. Okay. I, I like doing this. I did a second one. So my first one, that's because I, I wear a tinted foundation. That's not a foundation. I wear a tinted moisturizer. It's a CC cream. I don't like anything thick on my face. And then I use an all natural uh, face powder that uh, my friend, who's a beautiful healer, she's, oh my goodness, she's amazing. Uh, she makes these natural uh, makeup products. So I love that. I use... I use her powder. I absolutely love it. All right, so I've done that. I'm gonna wash my face now. So I, my daughter, one of my daughters recommended this, Sarah B. I love it. It is gentle, it is, it's not drying on your face. It's kind of fun to wear this bra tonight, seriously. I'm like, look at myself in the mirror going, wow, they're looking big. No, oh, just fun, fun to, uh, being another character, right? <laughs> so I'm having fun being a big breasted character right now. <laughs> All right, so I got my Sarah B on. It just feels so freaking good going on. Like it's just, it's really light and has a little bit of a frothiness to it. I got my lipstick on. <laughs> I can, I'm just gonna leave that on for now. I'll take it off before I go to bed, but hey, why not? Why not match my top? And my big bazingas today, right? We gotta accentuate what we got going on. <laughs> uh, I'm just a big goofball. But you don't have to be watching this, right? So I should not apologize for being a goofball because if you are still watching this video, you're having some fun. So that's great. If I can just brighten your day in some way, that is awesome. And then I'm having fun, right? So, and for those of you who like watching my videos, that's awesome. I'm so grateful for you. We got a connection going on. I just got a, oops. <laughs> well, I dropped my face cloth and that is gonna have to go in the wash. I am just getting a towel. Do I have a little shit in that corner? <laughs> Didn't look at the details beforehand. All right. So now this is freaking cool. Okay, I've, I've used this twice so far. ZGTS Clinicare's Treatment Solution State of the Art Skin Solution. Okay, look at that thing. That thing has like freaking, it's like needles on it. Anyone want to guess what it's for? It's for your face. <laughs> Why would I put freaking needles into my face, go through the pain? That's because I got lines, honey. <laughs> No, anyways, I thought this was cool. It's, it's actually not that bad. And there's three levels to this. So you can, there, um, the spikes end up being bigger, um, or like, go, I guess they're bigger, they're thicker, they go in more, um, uh, the higher you go. So there's level one, then there's, then there's the next level up and the next level up. So this is the mid level. 
Um, cause she says if you're, if you have a really hard time dealing with pain, go to level one, but otherwise if you're not that bad, you can go to level two. So I went for level two. And so what you're supposed to do is you go like one way across your face and you go the other way across your face. So you're going to watch me do that. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not that bad. Oh, I got a little pimple there. Nice. But it does get red. I don't know if you notice, if you can see it already getting red. And I'm not pushing down. I don't think I should be pushing hard because just by rolling over it, you like you can feel the spikiness. Um, I can try to put a little bit more pressure, but I don't want to put too much pressure. I think I, you know where I got this from? There's a health food store in town in Uxbridge. Uxbridge, Ontario, and uh, Nushin is uh, the, one of the co-owners. She is amazing. I absolutely love her. She has the most beautiful skin, and she does this. Plus, she does these vampire facelifts. She she's trained on how to do it, but she's not advertising that. She's not interested in, in focusing on that because she's busy enough with running her store but basically is you take blood from a certain part of your body I don't remember where I don't remember I don't know but then and then you put it in this machine you just shake it up and I don't know if I know this exactly because I, I haven't done it but um and then it it re-oxygenates the blood and then you put it into your face I would love to try that I think that would be so great. It's not cheap. So I have to save and then get over the fear of spending that much money on myself. <laughs> cause I just, I would love to try it. I think it's cause I am a Capricorn and Capricorns, um, I'm not, I'm not a Leo, but I was gonna say like, Capricorns like to take care of themselves. Well, they do. Like Leo is even more so with that. But with a Capricorn, it's about being our best selves. And um, and whatever our interpretation of our best sel selves is, right? Whatever you've grown up with, whatever. And so I like doing stuff like this. I'd I would like to look young as long as possible. Why not? I try to take care of myself. I, I eat well, I have greens, I have lots of veggies. I'm trying to eat more plant-based now just because it seems to be a good match for me the more plant-based I am. So it's just whatever I can do. That's why I did an anti-inflammatory diet to um, help me with um, the inflammation I was getting on the different issues. I was dealing with Meniere's disease and stuff and head tremors, which I still have. I'm still trying to figure out what that's all about because it's not Parkinson's. So that's amazing. I think it's just the energy coming in and I'm super high vibe and a mixture of Wi-Fi and all that. That's my guess. But anyways, so I went on an anti-inflammatory diet. It was tough, the whole process for me, because I wanted to do it right, because of my perfectionism. Um, it took about a year. And then now, I still have a lot of foods eliminated from my diet, but I'll treat myself. Like I had wine this weekend, and so that's a nice treat, because it does cause inflammation in me. Um, so I just have to do it with, so I'm going down my neck too. I just have to watch how much, right? Just if I'm gonna have it and I get back on track again. Yeah, I'm, my face is feeling quite red. Okay, so I don't think I went this way yet, all, all the way down. And then after doing this, you should be putting a really good quality face serum on. Now, Nushin from the health food store in town, she recommended this uh, serum 
that she sells and it happened to be on 50% off. So I got it, but I haven't opened it yet because I have this vitamin C cream by Mad Hippie that I really like and, and I still have it. So I'm gonna use that until I finish it. And then I'll move on to the one that uh, I bought from Nushin. I'll give that one a try. So it doesn't, it's, I'm not in major pain. It's just, it's just a little bit of discomfort, but it's totally bearable. I'm going, even going over my lips, over the lipstick. Oh, you know what I should have done is you're supposed to use alcohol over it before you start to clean it off. And I did not do that. So don't do what I just did, people. <laughs> okay, I think that's, I think I did a good enough job there. Ooh, so my face, I think the concept is you have, like you've punctured the, the skin, and so now the body needs to work to start healing. And so it helps to generate additional collagen and elastin i guess and all that can now come to the surface and you can feel it like i can feel the heat from i guess the injury right but you can feel the energy starting to build it's neat so it's like activating the skin on my face and on my neck now i didn't do all the way at the back um i think next time i'm going to do that but i didn't i didn't wash this area so i feel like i should i should wash it first if i'm going to do that all right, so I have a serum. So this is, this is the Mad Hippie. My mom actually got this for me from Nature's Emporium in Newmarket. And I love Nature's Emporium. I haven't been there since COVID hit at all. It's not, it's kind of far, so it's not a place that I would go often, but when I did, it was a treat. Aisles and aisles of healthy organic food and they have a hot counter and a cold counter and So great you can get juices there. I love that place and They used to have workshops and stuff all the time. I'm you know, maybe they're doing them online if they're not they should be <laughs> Anyways, it feels good. I feel so much tingling. I'm drawn. I don't really have to put on more serum but I want to I'm so drawn I feel like it's just a big nourishment right now I'm just like taking all this amazingness right I'm gonna put a little bit more on my neck so she recommended to start with doing this once a week and then move up to twice a week and then you can build up from there if you if you wish okay now the other cream I'm using is from my friend Ronnie She's amazing. And her company is called Ronnie's Aromatherapy. And this is, that's her cute logo there. And Ronnie is R-A-N-I, Ronnie's Aromatherapy. So this one is called C Natural um, Moisturizer. And what is in here? Purified water, jojoba, argan oil, black buckhorn berry. There's uh, carrot oils grapefruit seed rosemary geranium lavender sandalwood vitamin e she's got a whole bunch of amazing stuff in here i love the smell of this the smell oh i love it it this is my favorite favorite face cream during the day i use a cc cream um but this one i use at night and it just feels so freaking nourishing. I love it. Totally love it. So that is that. That's my routine. So I'll wash this in the morning. I got my nice red face. I'm not wearing this bra to, <laughs> bra to bed, but I have fun. I have fun being a bosomy woman. <laughs> Anyways, um, hey. If there's any products that you think I should try that you fully recommend, uh, let me know. But right now, this is my Sunday skincare routine or, or self-care routine. Anyways, from my light to your super awesome light, namaste. Bye.